What's up guys, Matt Nuzzo hanging out here at the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse testing out the Tomo Vader and the Tomo Vanguard. Two boards that look exactly the same or almost exactly the same but they ride very very differently and I'm here to tell you who they're for and what they're for. Let's start out with the construction, the brand, there's a lot of confusion about what's happening. Daniel Tomo is the shaper, he is has the brand Tomo, you see right down there on the nose, and these boards are made by Firewire. These two I'm holding specifically are made in the kite construction. So if you are gonna kiteboard on these, get them in the kite construction. These are actual just surfboards, and Tomo figured out how to make these planing hulls ride super fast, they surf well, but they're also sick for kiteboarding, okay? So the Vader is the newest model, and everyone uh, is like freaking out about Vader, Vader, Vader. But the Vanguard is the, the model that's been out for, for a little bit now, and it's an awesome board, and that's gonna be suited for most of the kiteboarding crew. How to tell the difference? Vanguard has a big V in the tail, it's a big swallow tail. Vader has the diamond tail, okay? So, main differences with this board, this is your all-around cruiser, the Vanguard all-around cruiser. Rides super smooth through the water, just busts up, went crazy, goes through the chop really well. Uh, its turn is not as aggressive, though. So if you're gonna be in top to bottom waves, the Vader has more outline shape, more rocker, and it's gonna snap a much tighter turn. So what you gain with the Vanguard is upwind ability, smooth riding through chop, and just easy all around kiting. Vader, snappier, tighter turns, and you lose some of that upwind ability and smoothness, okay? So very, very different boards, even though they look exactly the same. Let's take a look at the bottom shape here, okay? We've got on the Vanguard, you can see here, Vanguard's got a small release right through, through the tail here. Vader's got more channeling, quad channeling through the tail. This just has that one channel. Other thing you notice is they've got both have a really consistent single concave through the deck, okay? That single concave just allows the water to smooth, smoothly go through the board. The big difference in the two boards is the outline shape. The Vader has a lot more outline shape, so it wants to go rail to rail. Vanguard has a lot more parallel rails and a lot straighter rails over here, so it goes up wind really well and rides really smoothly through for, for all around riding. Next thing is the amount of rocker. Okay, so the Vader has a lot of flip in that tail, okay? Vanguard, a lot flatter through the tail, okay? So again, the Vanguard is gonna be your all around board for everyday kiter, small, sloppy waves. Vader is gonna be the board for riding in you know, a lot steeper surf, someone that's really an avid kite surfer, okay? Now let's talk about size and fin configuration. These boards are sold with no fins because a lot of people ride different fins for these boards. I like to set them up tri, I think that fin in the back, it actually slows the board down a little bit, but it gives you better drive of wind, gives you something to pivot off when you're turning on a wave. Okay, so I like to ride them tri, but you can ride a quad, which is gonna make it faster and looser, okay? so. Getting a five fin set for these is really, really important. Next thing is size, okay? I've got a 5'4 over here and a 5'5. Five five. I actually prefer it 170 pounds, the next size down. So I prefer the 5'3 Vader and then the 5'2 Vanguard, okay? So you can actually size these boards down a lot smaller than you think. So normally guys that, you know, I'm about 170 pounds, normally guys 185 to 200 are riding these size boards. So if you're 170, you're looking at the 5'3 Vader 5.2 Vanguard, okay? So both these boards really, really hot out there. They are strapless only, okay? No inserts on them, strapless only, but who cares? They ride so well, they stay glued to your feet. Big shout out to Waterman's Manufacturing. These guys are making the sickest pads on the market. Uh, there's a six piece pad, really comfortable, nice grip, they stand really well. You can tell I put this one on because it's actually straight and the guys from Kiteboarding Magazine, or Kite Surfing Magazine, we're down here, a bunch of Canadians, put this one on, you can definitely tell a little bit difference here. For more reviews, check us out at realwatersports.com.